in this video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to make some money daily even as a beginner in the crypto space carrying out what we call binance p2p arbitrage trading okay so this opportunity can be found on binance it can be found on other exchanges but in this video i'm just going to walk you through step by step on how to do this with binance so what i'm going to do is if you stay to the end of the video i'm equally going to show you because this requires a bit understanding of technical analysis all right so i'm going to equally show you how to use indicators to monitor the market and make sure that you're always in profit all right with that being said if you are new to the channel if this is your first time of seeing our videos or if you have been seeing our videos and you have not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing support us by subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and for you to be able to carry out this style of arbitrage trading you need a binance account binance is a crypto trading exchange you can sign up using the link in the video description and if you want to learn more about crypto join our community using the link in the video description all right so with that being said i'm going to walk you through doing this on the binance app so once you open up your app it is assumed that you already logged into your app okay so once you open up your app you want to come to this option down here that says trade all right so go ahead and click on where it says trades all right so once we click on trade here at the top here you see different option we have the convert option which we are going to make use of we have the p2p option okay and then we have the spot option so i will show you how to leverage on all of this all right so to get started first we need to go to the p2p trading interface so just click on p2p at the top here and that will bring you to this page okay just check i have read and then click on confirm so once we come in here to this page these are the coins that you can trade on the binance p2p um p2p is simply buying crypto directly from your bank and then selling crypto directly to your bank okay so basically that is what p2p trading is and on the binance exchange we can trade okay buy crypto like usdt btc busd bnb ethereum ngn and solana okay directly from our bank account and sell the same asset directly to our bank account so the first thing for this arbitrage trading is to buy usdt right now we are on the buy option okay and then we are on the usdt so once you see here is that people are ready to sell usdt at what 746 okay and then this person is 746 68 kobo 746 70 kobos uh, and the rest so the more i scroll down the more the price continue to go up the more i scroll down the more the price continue to go up okay now one thing you should understand on the p2p trading interface if you are on the buy tab whether you want to buy btc ethereum all of these okay the people who are ranking first here are the people who have the lowest price in the market so it is always if you have not seen my videos on p2p trading i have a video which i will link in the video description on how to actually rank first on these pages okay that is if you are a merchant so if you continue to scroll down the more you scroll down the more you see difference in the price okay it could be one kobo two kobo uh, you know one cent and the rest so the more you see differences in the price so you want to always make sure that you are trading if you want to buy lower buying from the first few persons here yeah? and then if you want to sell higher if i go to the sell option so here on the sell option you see that this person has the highest price right this person follows and followed by this person and the rest so the more you scroll down the more the price continue to decrease okay i just want you to take note of that now how do we actually carry out this arbitrage trading the first thing we need to do is to buy usdt and for this to work for you for you to make profit instantly you need a minimum of two million and above and i will explain why in a moment you need a, a minimum of 2 million naira that is if you're in nigeria you need a minimum of 2 million naira and above for this to work for you instantly if you have lower capital it means that you need to be patient with the market as i continue to go forward you'll be able to understand all of this okay so here we, we are going to buy usdt and then when we buy usdt we, we are going to convert that usdt into btc then come in here to the btc option and go to the sell option okay so once we convert that to btc we want to come to the sell option and want to sell that btc back to our bank account all right 
So as at the time I did this, this morning, BTC was 20.5, okay? And there was profit in it. And right now it is 20.7 million Naira. So it means that if I've been patient enough from this morning to the time of making this video, which is around evening, okay? I would have made some profit or more profit in the market. And why I say you need a minimum of 2 million Naira and above or 3 million, okay? You see that if I'm to sell to this person that is selling at 20.7775, okay, I'll, I'll be selling nothing less than Bitcoin worth 3 million. Okay, if I must sell to this person here, I will sell nothing less than 3 million because this person is ready to transact from 3 million to 50 million. Okay, so if you have 5 million, 50 million and above, it means that you can conveniently sell to this person and make some profit. And then the next person here is ready to sell from 1.5 to 50 million okay and one thing i said earlier that if you are on the sell option on the p2p interface the more you scroll down the more the price continue to go down okay you see 20.749 20.730 20.7 the more you keep scrolling down the more the price continues to go down okay if you are looking to sell to somebody who is ready to buy from 500 to 15 million it means that Instead of selling at 20.775, you'll be selling at 20.715,000, okay? So the more you continue to scroll down, the more the price continue to depreciate. So that is why I said you need a minimum of that. If you must sell to the first few persons here, okay, you need a minimum of 2 million. That is the only way this can profit you. Because if you just buy what 100,000 and then you come in here to sell um, on the first page here, there's nobody that is selling anything from 100,000 and above, okay, 200, the lowest you can see here is 200, and um, so you keep scrolling that, or if I come in here and use the filter option where it says amount, so if I click on amount, and I put in 100,000 here, and I click on confirm, so you see instead of selling at 20.7 i'll be selling at 20.692 so that is the difference that is why you need a higher amount to be able to always trade with those people at the top here now the way this actually work is if i come in here to the buy option again go to usdt so i want to buy usdt worth like 3 million there okay so to do that this first person is ready to buy from 50 to 500k um from 50 to 175 to 100 so we are going to look for somebody that can sell 3 million and above so in that case i will just go ahead and type in here okay click on the amount again once you click on the amount you want to type in 3 million here so once you type in 3 million go ahead and click on confirm and we can buy from this first person now, because we have used the filter option here, and then this has brought us to people who are done, it means that we're going to buy USDT at 747, okay? So to buy, just click on buy with zero fee. I'll go ahead and click on buy. And then here, I'll put in the amount. Let's say we want to buy 3 million. So we'll go ahead and put in 3 million here, okay? So this is what I want you to take note of. 3 million will give us about 4,016 usdt 4016 usdt okay once you finish buying this the next thing you want to do is to go back okay so we'll go back to the trade option so here we are back on the trading option okay the next thing we want to do is to use the convert option all right so i click on convert once i click on convert it brings us to let it load up So this is the convert option. What you want to do is to convert USDT to BTC. Okay, so we'll select, click on the arrow there to select USDT. So if you don't see it here, use the search option here to type in USDT. So, and, and then select USDT. Then the next thing is to select BTC, okay? So we had 4,016 USDT. That is what 3 million worth of this gave us, okay? So once you put in the amount here, in this case, you are going to use the max option. Once you put in the amount there, go ahead and click on preview conversion. 
So once we click on preview conversion, um, Binance is saying that we're going to get 0 0.14430 uh, worth of BTC. So why are we using the convert option is because we're going to do this at zero fee. Okay, we are doing this at zero fee. So this is what we are going to get. All right. Now that we are getting 0 0.14430108, we are now going back to sell this um, Bitcoin we converted on the Binance P2P directly to our bank account. Okay. So take note of this again, 0 0.14430. Okay. So I'll go back to my P2P. So let me go back and then click on P2P at the top here. So here on the P2P, go ahead and click on sell and then click on BTC. So once we click on sell and um, we have selected BTC, it means that because we bought 3 million and above, we are able to sell to this source person here. So just click on the sell option. Now, when you click on the sell option, what you're going to do is to put in the amount of BTC, which we got 0 0.14430, I guess. So 30, that is exactly what we got here. Now, because we just did this immediately, it is not going to be profitable. As you can see that uh, 3 million is now worth 200, um, 2.2,999, okay? Um, so we have some ch shortage here. And the reason for that is simple, which is what I want to explain now, all right? So in most cases, when you do this, when the market is moving to the upside, okay? You can do it immediately and you make profit. You do it immediately, you make profit. You do it immediately, you make profit. But you need to pay attention to these few things I want to say right now, okay? For this to be profitable for you, is what you need to do is, if I go back, all right? If I go back to the trade option, so here on the trading interface, on the spot market, we have BTC USDT selected. Click on this candlestick icon here to go to the chart. So if I click on that icon, it brings us to the BTC chart. And I use a combination of two indicators. So let the chart load up. I use a combination of two indicators, which is what you see here, okay? These are the indicators that I use. This one you see here, this three line here is called the Bollinger Bands. As you can see here, it is the one that is activated. And then the green line you see here is called the RSI, which you can see here, okay, it is the one that is activated now to activate this um this uh, all of these indicators okay these two indicators on the chart here what you need to do is just select the bollinger bands okay this one that are fade that are not active if i click on them they will be highlighted just like the rsi and it will show up here okay so i have selected the rsi and i've selected the bollinger bands and they are all active here okay so your own RSI may not be showing green color. That is because I had to customize my own color, all right? The color, the way I want it to be. So if you want to customize this, all right, once you click on it and it shows off, let me just show you. If I click on the RSI now, it goes off. And then if I click on it again, it comes up. If I click on the Bollinger Bands, it goes off. And if I click on it again, it comes up. Now to customize this RSI, what you want to do is to go ahead and click on this icon here. Once you click on that icon, you want to go ahead and select where it says indicators. Okay, click on the indicators option. And then here, the indicators you are going to use is the RSI and then the Bollinger Band. So for the RSI, just click on it to customize it. So once you click on it, if the three RSI here are checked, please uncheck it and check, use the, only, the one that is 14, the one that has the value to be 14, okay? use that one and you can change the color to whatever you want it to be all right so i prefer this and then i just go ahead and click on confirm down here and that will be changed if i want to do the same thing to the bollinger bands all i just need to do is to click on the bollinger bands um, indicator here and then i have the option to change the upper band color the lower band color and then the the middle band the lower band i can change all of that okay but i just leave this as it is so just click on confirm and then if we go back, you see that reflecting on our chart. So let it load up. 
so you see here that it is reflecting on our chart now for me to be able to sell or buy and sell on the p2p trading interface to make profit what i want to do is pay attention this is the rsi number okay what this number is showing you is that at the current position where the rsi is it is at what 47 okay the rsi is at 47 and what i want to do because i'm using the app i want to wait for the rsi to show that the market is oversold the market is oversold that is when i want to buy and sell on the binance p2p interface when the market is what oversold and where how do you know that the market is oversold you want to wait for rsi okay to go down to anything from 30 below 30 below it means that the market is oversold this is one way i use the rsi anything from 30 below it means that the market is oversold and how do you confirm that then the bullying japan has to confirm that for the market to be trading this candlestick you see here has to be trading within the lower band okay it has to be trading within the lower band so when this is 30 29 20 10 or there about below you want to wait for the candlestick to be trading within the lower band if that happens go ahead and buy usdt and convert it immediately to btc okay wait for any little movement in the market once the market moves, go back to the p2p interface try to sell that btc you converted and you will see that it will come back to you with maximum profit now you can do this you can use any time frame of your choice if you want to do it for a long term use a higher time frame but i always do this on the 15 minutes time frame it means that before the close of that day i might have made profit in that and you can make anything from 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, depending on how volatile the market is for you that day all right this is a very simple strategy that you can implement even as a beginner just like what i'm saying <coughs> So what I'm actually showing you on the 15 minutes time frame, you see that the candlesticks are trading within the lower band of the Bollinger Bands, okay? And then RSI here was trading, as of then, it was trading below um, 30, around 20, 25 or thereabout, okay? So buying BTC, buying USDT and converting to BTC, I sold somewhere around there, okay? It means that if, we, if you have been patient enough for the market to go up to where it is right now, you would have made more profit okay so please this is how you'll be able to make profit with this strategy i just shared with you okay buy usdt when the market is okay is showing over uh, oversold and then the candlesticks are trading at the lower band of the bollinger bands convert it to btc allow the market to retrace back up and then sell it back to your bank account and you can rinse and repeat this process again and again as many times as you want in as much as you don't have limits of transaction on your bank account you can do this and be profitable every day okay the video is a bit longer than i expected but i hope you get the gist if you don't understand everything i've explained you can still use the comment section and join my telegram group to learn more that is all i have for you in this video and i will see you guys in the next video please support me by subscribing to the channel